Hi, this is Dominic from Paphos Life, and in today's film, we're driving through Cato Paphos, then up the hotel strip. So let's have the map up quickly. Right, there's the usual area, which I'm, you're all familiar with. And uh, we're going a slightly different route through Cato Paphos. Uh, we're doing a loop, first of all, so we can see the renovations, how they're going on. Then we're coming back, and we're coming up to the area around Limnaria Gardens, because someone requested that. And then we're going all the way up the hotel strip to Yoskapu Beach. So we'll start off by coming from the car park behind the restaurants out onto the seafront. I filmed this a couple of days ago. Fairly early morning, I seem to recall. It's been blooming hot at the moment though. I share trouble about doing these recordings after the event as well in my little office is that I have to turn the aircon off in order to do the recording. So by the end of it I'm quite hot. Right, there's a seafront. And for a change, we're not going to go past uh, Pap Supermarket by turning right here. We're going straight up and then we'll be cutting through past St. Paul's Pillar. Well, as close as you can get in the car anyway. If you're on foot, you just go down there for St. Paul's Pillar. We're going to be turning just here. Now this area is, uh, I don't know the name of it, but it's like behind uh, Fabrica Hill. To the left, there's uh, you can see a, uh, where the... Uh, Outdoor theatre is the ancient one, and to the right is St. Paul's Pillar and some ancient uh, Ottoman baths, I think they are. It could be a basilica. It's part of central Catapathos. Now we're coming up to a roundabout which we'll pass again later in the film. But it marks the start of uh, Bar Street, though most people wouldn't consider this little bit here as to be part of Bar Street, but according to the map it is so. This road was closed off a couple of days ago, I'm not sure why. But for whatever reason it's open again now. And now we'll be hitting our the, the more traditional area associated with Bar Street. You have the nice restaurants. There's a nice little chapel on the left there. And there's Flair's Bar and Bubbles at the top. And after that, you get the uh, closed off area. Well, I say closed off, I mean the nightclubs are no longer operational. There are a couple of shops down here, and there's restaurants. Presumably, at some point in the not too distant future, the buildings themselves will be getting renovated. And now we're coming up to the area that's being landscaped, uh, part of Poseidon's Avenue. They've been pumping a lot of concrete in there recently, and they're working on the shade uh, section. the Elmira Hotel. And coming back we'll have a better look. I'll do a walkie-talkie up here in the next day or two to have a proper look at it. But it do seem to be making uh, progress. The nest seems to be pretty much complete outside there which will please them. And 
and this area seems to be pretty much, I mean, apart from uh, planting plants in the flower beds, and I can understand why they wouldn't do that at this time of year. It seems to be pretty much there now. Now, for whatever reason, we couldn't turn right here. So instead we're going back up into Catopathos uh, by the rear of uh, St Paul's Pillar area. So turn right here. And if you don't know where we are, if you turn left you'd be back at Papa Antonio's. And St. Paul's Pillar is now on the left. And then we'll be back at the roundabout I mentioned previously. Here we are. But this time we're going straight across. And remember, if you like our content, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel as it really does help YouTube promote us. And if you want to help us financially, then go to our pathoslife.com slash coffee page and you can either send us coffee or click on one of the affiliate links. Now, I don't often go down this bit. Uh, it can seem a bit confusing the first time you drive down here, but uh, it's pretty much, uh, you have to just, it's just a one-way uh, street all the way, so you can't really get lost. You can drive up the wrong way up a one-way street by mistake, I guess, but as long as you pay attention to the signs, it just takes you out anyway. And there's lots of parking up here. So if you come to Cato Paphos for any sort of festival or in the middle of August and you've driven, that's a good place to head to to get somewhere to park. You've got a little bit of a walk the beaches but there you go anyway we're crossing here and we're heading into the Limnaria Gardens territory I've never filmed down here before so this is new, uh, new to me seems to be mainly residential Just beyond those hedges is the dual carriageway. If you can hear any noise in the background, by the way, I think there's a combine harvester in the farm field, a couple of fields away that's what you get for living in the countryside right now we're turning left here if we turned right we'd be back at the top end of Bar Street near T&J's fish and chip shop but we're going to go back this way which will plonk us directly on to uh, Poseidon's Avenue opposite uh the Almira Spa. There's the Alexander the Great on the right. Hotel. And you've got the big tower on the left, and just to the right of the big tower, I flew the drone there, and you can see that the foundations for another tower have been built. But I did hear that, that, that those plans have been cancelled, whether that's true or not, I have no idea. But what surprised me was that it wasn't 
on the site of the Alo Hotel, which I'd already always heard that they were going to knock that down and put the uh, tower there. On the right, the area is being cleared, though I don't know why. It looks like it's just been made into a sort of rough and ready car park, but perhaps there's plans for that. Now we're coming to a triangle, and on the other side of the triangle is the Hotel Avanti and the Avanti Holiday Village. Now they don't normally feature or get a mention when I do my uh, hotel strip drives purely and simply because we don't go past the entrance. The entrance to them is just up there and we have to turn right here and if we're coming the other way we don't even go in this bit of the triangle. But trust me the Avanti uh, Hotel and Holiday Village is on the left and they are very popular. And you've got the Olympic Lagoon Resort straight in front. I'm not going to list all the hotels in this film. If you want to see a comprehensive list of the entire films, apart from the Avanti, I have to say, on the uh, hotel strip, then go to pathoslife.com slash v slash age 2024. And that's a previous film we did uh, where we give a detailed description of everything that's along the route. In this film, I just mentioned a few things like, ooh, we're in the shopping area at the moment, that sort of thing. We did actually go past uh, the turning on the right, just back there to uh, Rysudia Beach, and the municipal beach, I'll mention that. And there's some, uh, a lot of the restaurants up here are now tied with the hotels, like uh, they, they say, oh, if you want to go to Mexican uh, food, then just go over the road, and they have some sort of deal with them. They do still take uh, regular customers as well. Uh, somewhere on the left, we'll eventually come to a turning for the water park. I used to call the hotel on the right the Ivy Mare. It's actually pronounced Evie Marie. And similarly, the Aqua Mare is actually pronounced Aqua Marie. And I know this because I phoned them up and I asked them. If you don't believe me, you can phone them up yourselves, but you'll probably confuse the poor girl on reception if you do that. So Evie Marie and Aqua Marie. And we're just, on the right here is where the uh, St. Nicholas Chapel turning is. And then we've come to the end of the hotel strip. And soon we'll be arriving at Uoskapu Beach. Now when I uh, visited this, I seem to recall that there was a sea mist coming in. And this does happen occasionally in the summertime. It's caused uh, by high humidity. And if, it, if you are like on the beach and all of a sudden you're engulfed in a uh, fog, then it does, doesn't last very long and it'll just blow over. But it's always good to know. There's Luna Park on the right. And as I said before, Luna Park just means it's a park that's open at night. I do like these workers here. They park their car on the, in the middle of the roundabout. <laughs> Health and safety gone mad. My favourite place to go swimming here. Yeah? So yes, I mean, occasional uh, humidity clouds is just part and parcel of being on the coast in a hot country, and it is a very hot country at the moment, and it will get hotter, I'd imagine, in the next month, before the cooling, uh, balmy days of uh, September. And the secret to surviving the hot weather is to get out early and do your swimming and sunbathing then, 
have a nice siesta during the middle of the day and come out towards the end of the day. And uh, as I said before, wear a sun hat or a sun umbrella and then you will be fine. And on that public information film, I will bid you farewell. You can just see the sea mist I was talking about though. There you are, didn't last long. Bye.